Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who hath built the house hath more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant, as a testimony of those things which were to be spoken thereafter. But Christ was faithful as a son over his own house, whose house are we if we hold fast the confidence and rejoicing of the hope, firm unto the end. Therefore as the Holy Ghost saith, Today if ye will hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Therefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swore in my wrath, They shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief, in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, while it is still called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the confidence we had in the beginning steadfast unto the end. While it is said, Today if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, however not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with those who had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that they should not enter into his rest, but to those who believed not? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief.